Hi there, Ryan White here for highpointmusic.com.au. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how to get more functionality out of the Helix LT using Pedal Assign. Okay, so the first thing we need to do regarding Pedal Assign is the first basic function. So what we're going to do is learn how to link our effect blocks to our pedals or our foot switches on the Helix LT. Firstly, you need to make sure that the unit is in stomp mode. So it's in snapshot mode when you have the red lights, which you can switch between your snapshots along here. Stomp mode, you push that and you can see you've got a full access to eight foot switches there. So really simply people, let's say we move across here, we want to select our delay, but we want to move it from here to here. All you got to do is lightly touch there, come up and push the OK button and you've moved your delay. Another example, take your chorus, we want to move it here, we just touch that there after moving the cursor over the top. And then for example, all right, let's get our reverb. We want to move it to here, make sure we've got the reverb selected, and then just select it, push OK, and it's as simple as that. So that's how we achieve basic functionality by assigning effect blocks. For the next part of this tutorial, we're going to go in, I'm going to show you a more advanced application of Pedal Assign, where we actually use the foot switches to start controlling individual parameters within the effects box. So I'll show you an example of something I've prepared here already. <laughs> So the first step we need to do, people, is make sure that we've got the actual effect block that we want to edit selected on the screen here. Then we're going to come down and push the main menu button. Once we've done that, we're then going to come down to the controller assign in the menu here, push that in. And then we're going to come across to this first knob here. And then we're going to twist that until we get the level, which is the one we want to get in and control. The next one over is the controller selector, so you can go all through here, you've got options of assigning your expression pedals to activate these parameters, you can, even if you have a variax, you can connect that there, and then what we want to get to is foot switches. So you can see when I flick that onto foot switch 2, it activated that one there, we want to move it across to foot switch 5, so there that's on foot switch 5. The next one we want to make sure is we have the type and we want to make sure that is selected to momentary in this instance. So when it's on latching, it acts as a simple off on function. When momentary is on, when we have the button pushed in on the foot switch, that is only going to change the effect parameter with the values here for the amount of time we have our foot on that foot switch. Okay, in our instance here, we want to make sure we've got the minimum volume maxed out at 10. Okay, so when we don't have the foot switch engaged, we've got full volume, and then for maximum volume, we then are going to turn that down to 1, like that. So that, when we push that in there, <coughs> that's going to give us our effect. So we come back to the home screen, come across, and then we can see, when we zoom in here, that when I'm pushing that in, you see the level is changing on the Screamer 808. So if you have any questions from today's video, leave those in the comments below and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Make sure you follow the links below to check out my latest online course, which is the High Point Music Guitar Fundamentals Program, which features my unique methods and systems to master the fundamental skill sets of contemporary guitar to take your playing to new heights. And lastly, to become a member of the channel to directly help with the cost of outputting content like this video, please consider signing up for our Patreon account. The links for that are in the description below. My name is Ryan White. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.